Welcome to Emilu One on One, an interview conversation, sharing stories, telling experiences, one life at a time, so you can be inspired and motivated to keep growing in life and to make your dreams happen. As I have said the past episode, this episode is of course different from the usual that we do because this is the second of the fourth holiday series that we will be doing and it's all about meal and food preparation for the people that you love, your family, friends, and your guests. In the spirit of Christmas, New Year's, and all the celebrations in between, we are talking about love, service, and generosity on how to feed your family, your friends, and everyone else that's around you. So this week's episode is about preparing meals for a smaller family. So let's start. Just last week, we were in Marisa Gutierrez's kitchen. This time, we have invited ourselves back for another episode for cooking. And this time, it will be different. Riz, welcome back to the show. Hi. Thank Glad you for having us again in your yeah. kitchen. No problem. All I right. enjoy it. Sige, Riz, what are we, what are you cooking? I didn't include ko pa yung self. <laughs> last time we discussed, since you come from a small family, yes. you wanted me to make a menu for mm -hmm. a small family. Yes. So, since we're Filipinos, normally mm -hmm. we have lechon, right? Yes. For every special gathering. Uh -oh. So, like in my family, we have lechon and turkey, but we're not so small with the okay. apples and everybody. Uh -oh. So, this time, I was thinking of making pork loin. Mm -hmm. I was thinking of making it a little extra special. Since now, you can order lechon belly okay. that's rolled, right? Mm -hmm. So, I said, What's a little bit special? So, mm -hmm. this time, I'm going to be making pork loin with apple and prune sauce. Okay. So, that will be an alternative sa usual na lechon. Yeah. I didn't want to do something normal. Uh oh Na lechon manok man. <laughs> yeah, whatever. And, and I'm thinking when we do our big family mm -hmm. feast, so I'm thinking of putting probably lechon there also. Uh -oh. or, uh, no, so... I was thinking I want it to be there. Yes, because the bigger family, the bigger, the many mouths to feed, no? Yeah. All right, so let's start cooking. All right, so I have here two kilos of pork loin. Okay. Now, you can just go to your local butcher, mm -hmm. the Robinsons, Faith mm -hmm. Farms, and make them roll it like this. You okay. don't need to do this yourself. Okay. I actually didn't. Uh-oh. -uh. Because it's going to take a lot of time. Okay. Anyway, and then you just season this with, there's no extra preparation. Mm -hmm. There's no... Nothing. No marination. No, nothing. nothing. Okay. Just put a lot of salt. Okay. Be generous. Uh oh. I noticed that your salt is pinkish. Yes, because it's Himalayan salt. Yes. But you can use normal so salt. So that's expensive. <laughs> um, you know what? If you buy it here, yes. But mm -mm. if you buy it in Asad in Manila, mm -mm. it's cheap. Okay. So I buy it in Asad. And as always, you always wanted the best. Yes. So like, let's say if you're preparing for your family or for people you really love, of course, give them the best. Yeah, and but you can also use um, kosher salt or mm -hmm. uh, that salt that we buy in Borgo. Yes. The rock, rock salt. salt. Rock oh, salt. That's oh. very cheap. I actually mm -hmm. love using that. It's just that I went to Asad recently oh. and I bought a lot of this. Himalayan salt. Mm -hmm. But does it really make a difference with our flavor? It's not as salty. Okay. That's why I'm putting quite a lot. Oh. Mm -mm. And so you're not a fan of iodized salt? Uh, no. Personally, I am not also I'm a fan of that. Fan. I would rather use like rock salt as if nagaluto ugin ko. But you know what? Like for, for like let's say even sa mga dipping, ano, I yeah. prefer the rock salt. Yeah, exactly. It's uh, I don't like iodized salt either. Mm -hmm. It's too salty. Mm -hmm. And I'm putting pepper. Okay. A lot of pepper. So, they can just buy like McCormick na ground na, na pepper or does it have to I know, like, I use my pepper mill. Okay. But you, you just, you can buy pepper mill in Lock mm. West. Or does it have to be powder or better na? No, better like this. Okay. I, 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 I use freshly ground pepper because mm -mm. it smells good. Mm -hmm. I can smell it. And then, I'm using baby potatoes that okay. I just got in. I just scrubbed it and I got this okay. in Robinson. Mm -hmm. Why am I using this? Because I'm kind of lazy to, to peel big potatoes uh -oh. and to slice. And you said, like, what about people who don't really cook yes, like that? Yes. And you don't really have the time, uh, but you want to prepare something special. Yes, that's, like you, that's one. That, that's me, for one. Yeah, instead, yeah. So instead, you don't have to cut or slice well, the no, You can if you want to. To mm -hmm. make, you can slice it in half mm -hmm. so that you give the illusion of having a lot. Okay. But you don't really have to. Okay. 
So, mm -hmm. this is 2 kilos for every 500 grams. That's 20 minutes mm -hmm. in the oven at 350 degrees. Okay. So, that's all? Yeah, salt and pepper. Mm -mm. And then, I'm just going to be putting... Notice, I didn't anymore season the potatoes. Mm -hmm. Because the drippings from the pork loin... Okay. We'll do we'll, the we'll, trick. We'll do the trick. So, I'm just going to be putting a little bit of olive oil. Is that a little bit? <laughs> yeah, a little I bit. find it really a lot. Well, that's little lang. Considering you have... 2 kilos. Yes. Actually, to be exact, 2.4 kilos okay. of pork loin. Mm -hmm. So, I, that's that's okay lang. Yeah. So, by this time, we're ready to put the pork in the oven. Okay, again, or, preheated. Does it have to be preheated? Of course, it's preheated. At all the time? <laughs> all the time, it's preheated at 3, um, and this is at 350 degrees. Mm -hmm. For every 500 grams, it's 20 minutes. Okay. So, All right, so this you're popping it be in, in for. I'll be, I will be being comfortable here. <laughs> what this is going to be in for 2 hours and 20 minutes. Okay. On the last 20 minutes, mm -hmm. we're going to up our oven because we want this nice and golden brown. Okay. Okay, Let we're going to up, up the it oven. To full, to full. It's like broiling it. Oh, okay. What I mean by broiling, um, we're trying to burn. The, the we're trying, side. Not, not, not burn is a bad term. We're trying to get a nice color. Okay. The the the, the whole front. Of this. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna up it to maximum. Maximum. Uh -oh. Okay. So whatever maximum uh -oh. is in their oven. Exactly. Uh -oh. Maximum would be for my oven. Mm -hmm. This is Celsius eh, to eighty. Okay. For a normal four hundred something. Okay. So, that's the maximum. maximum. So that's the trick. Okay, so I'm gonna be putting it in my oven. That's coming in. Yep. And we're just while we're just while we're baking this, we're gonna be making our sauce. Okay. And so notice, while waiting. I already have my my um, water oh, boiling wait. for my pasta later. Yes. Because I'm gonna be making shrimp pasta. Okay. So that we go straight. So that goes with uh, pork loin. No, the, the shrimp, shrimp pasta. The, yeah, shrimp pasta. We're making shrimp pasta, pork loin, and Caesar salad. Okay. Remember. All right. All right. Sige. 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 While waiting for the pork Let's loin. Let's make the sauce. Okay. Our sauce very for the special sauce for our pork. Okay. As I've said, this is for the pasta that yes. I'm going to be making later. I, sh I just mentioned that because I didn't want anybody to think what's that doing. Yes. Here. Right. So for sure that there's food there. <laughs> yeah, so let's make the. Okay, sauce. we're gonna be making an apple prune sauce. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first things first, put your olive oil. Okay, any any measurement ah, for the olive there's oil? There's no measurement. Okay, put your olive oil and then put about um. I put actually one really big onion here. Okay, so let's sweat the onion. So white onion. Yeah, white onion. Let's sweat the onion. Mm -hmm. Do you have to really like? Oh, what do they call that? Caramelize it? No, not really? well, let's just sweat the onions. Okay. Till it's nice and soft. Okay. Now that our onions is nice and soft, we're gonna be adding our apple. Okay. I used two Granny Smith apples. Okay. So just diced. Yes, diced. And then after that, we're gonna soften it up. Mm hmm Now that it's... Like really, really soft? Yeah, really, the, really the soft. mashed... Yes. Okay. Really, not mashed, but soft. Okay. You can see the chunks of it, but soft. Okay. You want it nicely cooked. Mm -hmm. Now that it's soft, look. Yeah. We're gonna add the prunes. Okay. Now this is about almost a cup. I just used a pa uh, whatever One more I had. Pack. Yeah, whatever I had left. Okay. I love prune. Mm -hmm. I always keep some in my house. Okay. Now that you've eaten a prune, mm. I want I was gonna ask curious because for some people, like you know, when they bake or when they cook, they don't usually eat whatever it was that they baked or they cook. Is it the same way with you or is it different? Mm, depends on what I'm cooking. <laughs> yeah, I used to be like that. Uh-huh. But now I think I'm super in love with food that I'll eat anything I cook also. Mm -hmm. Although I'm gonna tell you I enjoy eating other people's dishes because it's uh -huh. a surprise to me. Yes. Now that we have everything incorporated, we're going to add our broth. I have two cups okay. here. What broth is that? You chicken, can use beef. chicken, beef, mm -hmm. pork, whatever. <laughs> Not fish, <laughs> except seafood. Whatever you have in your refrigerator. I tend to keep a lot mm -hmm. in my refrigerator. Just in case it's needed. Yeah. 
And then we're gonna make it simmer and incorporate. Mm -hmm. And then I'll season it with salt and pepper okay. later. Na. And For then, how long will you do you need to simmer that? Uh, about 30 minutes. You okay. just want everything to how, how shall I put it? You want uh, you want a marriage of all the flavors. Yes. Okay. You want everything incorporated. Yes. So hindi lang sila engaged, married sila. Married sila. <laughs> And prune sauce is simmering. We're gonna season it with some salt and pepper. And then we're gonna add our cream. You don't wanna add the cream when it's rapidly boiling because it's gonna break. You don't want that. That's a mistake. Look at this. Look how nice it looks like. Now, because the prunes and the apple, I, I use Granny Smith apple. And the prunes, ha uh, so that's acidic. And the prunes are sweet, but it has a certain pang also at the, towards the end. And I'll be putting a little bit, just a little bit of honey. That's it. Look at the prunes, the apples. And we're done. I'm just gonna set it up later with my roasted potatoes and roast pork loin and feed Emilu right here. And we will get to see the final product when we come back. Welcome back to Emilu One on One. Earlier on, we saw Marisa prepare the pork loin and then the sauce as well. This time, let's see what she has in store for us. What's next? Hi, so I'm gonna be making shrimp and lemon pasta. It's gonna be super easy. And okay. Super quick. Anyway, I have here my boiled uh, water. Mm -hmm. so I'm gonna put my pasta here. The package says seven to eight minutes. Okay. So seven to eight minutes it, it is. And then I'm gonna be putting a lot of salt. Okay. okay, it's very important. And it's important. And just leave it there. And while we're waiting, let's make our sauce. Okay. All right. So here we go. I'm just gonna be sauteing my garlic. Mm -hmm. See Daisy. How many cloves of garlic did you put in there? I actually used two large heads. Okay. But I'm not gonna be cooking all the shrimps. Mm -hmm. Or you want me to? Yeah. Might as well. Might as well. Okay, so I'll use all the garlic. Okay. This is gonna be garlicky, okay? Okay. I like and garlicky it's gonna food. Be, it's gonna have a lot of olive, so that's oil. olive oil. Yep. And then we're gonna finish it off with a little butter later. Okay. I'm not putting the butter here because I don't want to burn the butter. Okay. Okay, so just saute this first until it's nice and soft. Mm -hmm. Not brown, just nice and soft. Then we can add the pepper flakes. Okay. I'm gonna put quite a bit because mm -hmm. I have a lot of shrimps. So that's probably like how many tablespoons or teaspoons you think? I think well, one tablespoon. Mm -hmm. Or maybe depending on how you, yeah, really you want know what? It spicy. It, yeah, yeah, exactly. There's really no correct formula. It yeah. really depends on your personal taste. Isn't it so good that I'm just seated here in the same time watching Marisa cook and then later eat? Yep, why not? <laughs> then I'm gonna be finishing this off with butter and extra virgin olive oil. Okay, later. just before you put the shrimp in. Yeah. No, finish After. off later. Okay, later. Now look, now look the shrimps. No, I I I took away the 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 veins here, so it's called the veining, na. Mm -hmm. So wait a minute. So I can add the shrimps right now. All right. So that's like how many shrimps do you think? Is that less than actually, a kilo? This is, no, this is uh, one point. Actually, because my shrimps are big, this is mga one point two. Whoa! I what this smell? It smells so good. Guys, don't follow me. I huh? use a bigger pan. Just yes, like, I see that too. Yep. <laughs> Okay. All right, for those who really are not like used to cooking, how do you know that the shrimps are cooked? 
Because it's gonna turn pink. Okay. Like pink all over. Yep. Now that my shrimps are halfway done, I'll be adding my my lemon. Mm-hmm. My lemon. So it has to be halfway done. Yeah. It's actually it's more than halfway done. Mm -hmm. Almost done. My lemon, my lemon zest, and I'll put an extra pepper. I like it hot. Okay. And salt. And then I'll finish off with I'll mix it all in and finish off with my butter. Okay. Mm-hmm. Notice it's kinda like a lot of butter because this is So that's one tube of butter, the usual or uh, this is mga two tablespoons. Okay. But if you want to be, if you don't want to use butter, then you can use olive oil. Olive oil again. Yeah, but butter is good. Mm -hmm. It's been proven butter to be always good. good. <laughs> yeah. And then, after that, finish off with parsley. And we're done. Welcome back to Emilu One on One. And now we are almost done with the food preparation. Yep. Sige, Riz. Now that the pasta's cooked. Okay. And then I'm only gonna be putting, I'm only gonna be making a little for you. Huh? The pasta has to be al dente. Yep, yep. Yeah, and you just mix everything and that's it. Alright. Then I'll just serve you M's later. Okay? Alright, sige. Okay. Now that oh, earlier on, we actually had pork loin. And this time it's pasta. What do you call that specific I, dish? I just actually made it up. So mm -hmm. it's just pasta with lemon. With lemon and with shrimp, lemon, lemon, whatever. It's pasta, shrimp, mm -hmm. with lemon, salt, and chili. Okay. And lemon zest. Yes. Okay, given that this is the third segment, what goes with the pork loin and the pasta? Garlic bread. Garlic and bread. And the pork loin, remember, we baked it with potatoes. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Okay. And I believe that we are still making pasta, um, salad, yes, right? Yes, we are. But let's eat first. Okay. All right. We'll eat first. I like that. <laughs> All right, so now we're down to our salad. Yes. So you said a small family, so it's just a little bit. Mm -hmm. And okay, guys, don't follow me. This is just iceberg lettuce. It's nice and crisp though, but that's the only thing I could find here in Bacolod yesterday. Mm -hmm. Anyways, um, when you do it in your homes, try to use different kinds of lettuce so that you have like a lot of color going on. Mm -hmm. You have red, you have uh, light green, dark green. Mm -hmm. You could even use a little bit of arugula to jazz it up. You can use anything you want to use. Okay. Anyway, let's start with the Caesar salad dressing. So first mm -hmm. things first, I have here three egg yolks. So it's which, just the yolk. Yes, which I'm going to be putting in my food processor. Okay. Now if you don't have a food processor, food processor. Okay. You, if you don't have a food processor, you're going to have to <laughs> use your hands, which is actually okay. Just just get a whisk okay. and whisk this with your anchovies mm -hmm. and your garlic. Okay. So it's going to take a little bit of time. If you use your hands. Yes, which I don't want to do, but okay. surely you can YouTube it. And plus you have the processor, so might as well just use it. Exactly. <laughs> And um, if you kindly excuse me just a little bit, I need to get my garlic. I just need to put um, two, two cloves. Okay. Just two cloves. I'm back with my garlic. Because okay. I totally <laughs> forgot. Okay, so I'm going to be putting three cloves. I like it a little bit garlic. Okay. And then my secret, which uh, a lot of people don't do, they don't put capers. I'm going to put a little bit. Oh, I love capers. Yeah, just a little bit. And lemon fresh lemon yep and a little bit of worcester sheer sauce i like using lean parents okay okay so by this time and then some of my dijon mustard mm -hmm. that's it Put a little bit more so by this time you can mix it all in. see if you use your hands it's gonna take you a long time yes so for how long should you whisk it through? You should do it until everything is... Uh, until you don't see bits and pieces of your anchovies okay. and your papers. Oopsie, I'm just gonna make sure. A little bit more. A little more. Yep. Then you may add a 
add your olive oil. Okay. All of that. Olive oil mix uh, with salad oil. Because you don't want it to, what do you call this, too strong. Yep, I'm using about one and one half cup of olive okay. oil. So this is the kind of consistency that you want. Okay. It's like mayonnaise. That's mm -hmm. the kind of consistency I like. So I'm gonna mix everything up mm -hmm. and we're ready to go. Yes. After that. Okay. Because some of the people wants it para medyo mas liquidy siguro, no? I don't know if that would be like... I, that's okay, but you, I But you would prefer that. I, I like it like that. I transferred it here because I wasn't thinking actually. I put it in the bowl like that and I made like a very thick dressing yeah, so yeah. how would I mix it in right <laughs> so I had to I'm, I'm not one to be shy to admit to my mistakes I'm not perfect which is good <laughs> so I'm gonna mix it all in and that's right perfectly now. fine everybody yep. makes mistakes yep everybody have bad days you have to eat this right away huh? otherwise okay. it's gonna be really soggy all right is it so bad if you want to have more sauce um, I think this should be enough, but if you do, you can just put it on the side. Add, I, I no? think it's your, it's a matter of personal taste. Mm -hmm. no? So I'm gonna be putting. So maybe when you're serving, you can leave some sauce as well for yeah, people. Definitely, like, yes. definitely. So I'm gonna be putting some of this uh, croutons that we made. Actually, to be perfectly honest, this is just toasted bread. Yes. Yes. That's okay. For some people, would prefer that. Well, because we had some extra in the mm -mm. refrigerator, so we wanted to use everything. And I have here some bacon. I'm gonna put some bacon. Mm -hmm. right, right, right there. I like a lot of bacon, so I'm not gonna yeah. be shy with that. Who doesn't love bacon except the vegetarians? Yeah, <laughs> that's actually a vegetarian's dream. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we're very biased. Yeah. To the vegetarian. Yeah, because we're sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. And then I'm gonna put some parmigiano reggiano. Okay. There we have it. See? Well, so any like McCormick, maybe parmesan is okay. Well, like that, or what? It, um, I, 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 to be honest, I don't use that. Mm hmm. I use fresh, but okay. um, and I grate it myself. But you know, if you want to, why not crafts? Mm -hmm. Whatever. But I don't. I, it's the taste is different. Yes. But if you're on a budget, that's fine too. And uh, all right, that's how so it looks. Yep. Here we go. You want to try some? Of course. Who doesn't refuse? Who doesn't say no to? A... Okay. There all we right. go. And then I'll add a little bit of chicken. Yep. And just a little bit of cheese. Yes. There we go. Yep. Bon appetit. And now we're done with our pork yes. loin. Yes. Look, as you can see, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Now, if you have some extra apple in your house, you can decorate it with apple. Okay. Extra herbs. Mm -hmm. And um, you can dress it up a little bit. This is the simplest way of doing it. Okay. Ano na herbs, Reyes? Well, I'm using parsley. Okay. Because no? I used it. But if you have like um, thyme or whatever, mm -hmm. you could even like uh, cook this with thyme. Okay. Or with rosemary. It's very mm -hmm. versatile. As you can see, uh, a while ago, I just put salt and pepper. Yes. So you could dress yes. it up with e your favorite with herbs and then you can, you can decorate it mm -hmm. better, I'm sure. Yes. <laughs> and then I have here my uh, apple and prune sauce. So uh -huh. just serve it on the side or you could slice it up okay. and then put some sauce mm -hmm. over it. Anything so that depends on depends on the how taste. they want. Yeah, to how they it. want, and you could also serve it with mashed potato. Now I was just thinking, if it's a busy mom, mm -hmm. no, at least it's just salt, pepper, and whatever herb she wants, and then you bake it now with the potatoes, and then the potatoes will cook obviously. Um, so since dripping. it's baby potatoes, it will cook uh, ahead of time okay. than the pork because the pork is two kilos and mm -hmm. it's 
um, 20 minutes per 500 grams. So you just poke it with a fork yes. and then you check it out. Or you mm -hmm. can put it uh, half when the pork is halfway done, yes. whichever works for uh -oh. you. And it's good, well, you mentioned about busy moms, it's good okay, they can do something else yes. while that's being yeah. cooked. So in the oven. let's say two kilos of pork loin mm -mm. and then you already put it in the oven. So mm -mm. at least you can still make your pasta, you can still make other things. And yes. while after you're done with everything, then mm -hmm. you take out your pork loin. And the most important thing is before you cut it, you rest for 20 minutes. Okay. Because you don't want the juices um, all over the place. Yes. You want it intact. You want it to rest. Mm -hmm. so Any meat, meat actually, in mind. Huh? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Any meat actually. So just cover it with foil and just mm -hmm. make it sit for 20 minutes. Okay. Uh -huh. Well, that's how it is to prepare food for a small family. That's right. Yes, thank you so much yeah. for joining us again. Yeah, and and we, we look forward to seeing you. Yes. We still have two more episodes actually. So you've seen that, how to meals to prepare for the small family. Pork loin and then the pasta with the shrimp and all that. And salad. And you're done. Don't forget to join the conversation online by leaving us a comment on any of the social media platforms that you see on your screen. And as always, if you need prayer or encouragement, you can give us or send us an email because we take those prayer requests seriously. And as I often say, no matter what changes in your life, no matter what circumstances are or the situation that you are in, you don't have to lose hope because you are not trusting in your life. You are trusting in the one who holds your life that is god it's not about the past it's about your bright future join me again for another insightful and meaningful conversation and this time about food preparation i am emilu and this has been emilu one-on-one -on -one. thanks for watching <music>